Hey guys, I got a little bit different video for you today. I'm going to show you an easy way to transpose a song. Now, a couple of reasons why you would want to transpose a song. One, maybe you just learned one of your favorite tunes on guitar. You've got it down. You've got the progression and the chords and all. But then you start singing it and you find out, well, that's a little out of my range. So you want to play that same progression in a different key. Well, I'm going to show you an easy way how to transpose that into a different key. Now, the second reason, and actually this is probably a little bit more important let's say you're writing your own song you guys know how much I push you to write your own material and you've got this really killer chord progression you came up with but the vocals the lyrics and the melodies they're not quite matching up to what you're playing on guitar so one of the best things that you can do is try playing that in a different key so again this is a really simple method kind of kind of a short video here uh, do hang around after the lesson though I'm gonna share with you why I'm playing acoustic for this video and what's coming up on acoustic here so hang around for that so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just take a very simple chord progression this one right here so there's our four chords and actually those are the four magical chords you know that really cool minor and three majors in there uh, but we're starting out with an E minor we're in the key of E minor and we're starting out with that chord E minor okay so again here are four chords E minor then we're playing a C then we're playing a G then a D Okay, so we want to transpose that into a different key. We want that same progression. We want that minor followed by those, those relevant majors that we just played, right? We want that, that same progression, but just in a different key. So what I'm going to do for this first little lesson here, I'm just going to pick a random key. Let's just say A minor, okay? So we started out with E minor, but I want to transpose everything to be in the key of A minor. So we're going to start with A minor. Okay, so instead of playing E minor, okay, so, and bear with me here, I'm, I'm going to get to the actual very easy part here in, in a couple of seconds. So instead of playing E minor, we're going to start with A minor. Now, how do we find the other chords that are going to match that same progression in the key of A minor? We know the E minor, right, E minor, we go to a C, G, D. The easiest thing to do, and this is like super simple, is simply just to count up the frets to that next note, to that next chord that you're going to play, right? So we had E minor, that was our original progression, we started with an E minor. So we just take that first note, E. Now how many frets to get to an A? Well, let's count from that first note there. You've got your open E. Then after that, we'll start counting, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, we're not tuning guitars today, but anyway, you, you get where I'm going with that. So I just counted up five notes, or five frets rather, okay, to that next note that I'm going to play. So E minor, it takes five frets to get to the A minor. So essentially, we just do that for every other chord in this progression here. So we've got our C. So our C, right, that first note, which is a C note of the C chord, that starts out on the third fret of the second string. So again, we'll count up five frets from that, okay? That's, that's the note there, the C note, and then we'll start counting. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we know that's an F. I'm just going to play it up here. All right, so we've already got two chords for this new progression, or for this the new key that this progression's in, okay? A minor. Now, from here, I would say, you know, the more experienced of a guitar player you are and, and more experienced in just playing full songs, you would probably be able to figure out the rest of the chords in this progression fairly easily. We'll go through the next ones anyway, though. Um, but this is where you really want to start 
you know, honing in on using your ears, right? As you play guitar more and more and more, you want to use your ears and trust your ears uh, that they're going to know what the next chord is to go to. And that just comes with time and practice and just being patient, but also being very consistent, okay? So I just want to throw that out there. Uh, you shouldn't have to count every single time. I'm just kind of showing you the easy way to, to kind of just get started with this when you want to transpose a song. All right, so let's go through the rest of these chords. So the original progression, E minor, C, G, D. So that third note there is the G, the third chord. So now we'll do the same thing. We'll count up our G, all right? The G note is first string, third fret. Let's count up. One, two, three, four, five. And that's a C. And you don't have to count on the actual string. Like once you hit that fifth fret there, if you want to go to that next open string, You could do that if that's easier. There's really no wrong or right way, just whatever works for you. But in any case, we know we have a C. Okay, so, so far, instead of this in E minor, we have this in A minor. Now we've just got one more chord to figure out. And again, I want to reiterate that I really want you guys to use your ears. Don't force yourself to have to count each and every time. Start hearing it. It's like, okay, you know your chords well, you know what the chords sound like, so start trying different things until you get it. But in any case, let's just, uh, let's just work on that last chord there. The original progression, we ended on a D. Let's go from the third string, as long as it's D, okay? So let's count five frets up. One, two, three, four, five. And that is a G. So our last chord in our new progression of A minor is G. So let's go through both progressions real quick. Here's the original progression in E minor that we came up with. Now here's the new progression in A minor. Same progression, but we're playing it in the key of A minor. Man, sounds cool when you blend them together. That could be a song right there. Uh, so hey, there's another reason to transpose. Maybe you want part of your song uh, just to kind of go somewhere else without overcomplicating the process of, of writing, you know, an entirely different progression or different riff. You want to keep that, so you just transpose that part and there's a new part of the song. It just kind of gives it more life. So I just kind of want to throw that out there as we're going through this. Uh, but yeah, that's just a real simple way. And I actually do this quite often. I'm, I'm constantly transposing. You guys know I play live acoustic gigs, acoustic shows around town here in the Tampa, Brandon, now in Bradenton and Lakeland too. So I'm kind of playing all over the place now. Uh, but I, I play mainly 80s and I, I call it 80s with a side of 70s and a lot of the songs that I play my vocals my, my range is limited you know I can't sing as high as a lot of these 80s singers and I'm also doing some you know songs that were they're sung by female artists like by heart I actually do a vixen song as well I'll do some Pat Benatar so I don't have that range so I transpose I would say I transpose probably over 70% of the songs that I play so this is something I've become really accustomed to. And I thought this might be a good thing to share with you guys. You know, I've been doing some more videos on playing live. I want to give you more content uh, that revolves around that. Of course, I'm always going to give you the metal, keep it metal. We're always going to do that on this channel. But I want to share some other stuff with you as well, uh, which leads me to my next point. And I put this out there on a YouTube community post, and I think I put it out there on Facebook, just asking what you guys would think if I did just a basic bare bones uh, guitar lesson series for someone who has never played guitar before and I'm gonna use my acoustic for that 
and I'm just going to go over just the basic chords and just, you know, share share some insight with my teaching style. And I got an overwhelming response from that post. So if you go to my community tab, you can scroll down and see it. Um, but I got an overwhelming response from that post and you guys want me to do that. So I'm going to start working on that. And again, this is just going to be just, you know, really just basic starting out on guitar. I know there are a lot of videos out there on it already. I realize that, but you guys, you know, you guys seem to like my teaching style and, and I'm humbled by that. I really appreciate you guys and, and thank you for all the kind words. So I'm going to start working on that very soon and I'll have this series out there for complete beginners. Now real quick, another reason I've got my acoustic out is I was just tuning up and wiping things down, getting ready for another show tonight. I've got another uh, live solo acoustic gig tonight night at this really cool place called the Blind Goat in South Tampa. I love playing there. I've been playing there a lot lately. And guys, I'm playing all over the place now. This has turned into like a pretty big thing for me. So I will be sharing more of that content, you know, in regards to the gear I use and just some strategies and tips on how to get gigs and that sort of thing. I'm working on a lot of content for you in, in that area as well. I've asked you on other videos if you guys wanted me to put some content out there for playing live solo gigs and got an overwhelming response yes on that too. Even if you don't play, it might be something that you want to start. And guys, it's actually a really good way to make a, a decent side income too, I'll tell you. And there's some other areas you can make money in in relation to that as well. So I'm going to be sharing all this with you uh, in upcoming videos. And don't worry, I'm not getting away from the metal. Like I said, we're always is going to do metal on this channel. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments below. I've got to get ready for this gig. Got to pack the car up and do another show tonight. So stay tuned for more videos, guys. And until the next one, as always, keep it metal. Well, sometimes we keep it acoustic. Mm -hmm.